today I thought I would do something different where I analyze my own gameplay. I've done this before in the past and I thought that it would be a good idea to do it again except for a nuclear gameplay because when I originally posted this gameplay it's kind of hard for me to process exactly every single thing that I'm thinking in the game and output it to you guys in real time. So what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be watching the full raw gameplay of that video. Now, if you missed the live version of it, link will be down below in the description. We're just gonna be analyzing my own gameplay today, and I'm just gonna be walking through what I'm doing, what's going on in my mind, just so you guys can get a better idea if you guys are trying to get a nuclear, okay? So this is a strategy, ugh. this is a strategy that I always run on Summit and I'm gonna explain like why I'm doing what I'm doing and just try to explain as much as I possibly can so you guys can digest this information. And I'm looking to my left because that's where my monitor is at. And hopefully you guys can still hear me. Okay, and if you look at my class lit up, I do have dead silence so, I, uh, so that our footsteps can remain silent and so that the enemy does not hear ours and I don't hear mine. I hate it when I hear my own footsteps because that does that does all that does is just create confusion and like whose footsteps am I hearing, you know what I'm saying? Then I got gung-ho so I can reduce that sprint out time from the time that we pull up our weapon to ADSing and firing. Then I got scavenger so I can stick to the same weapon and I'm using equipment charge for my gear. That's just a personal preference because when you use equipment charge with this Reaper specialist, you are able to earn it at least four times in one round, which is absolutely crazy and it'll definitely help. So here's my favorite uh, flanking route here at the start of the game if I spawn from there. As you can see, I got an easy kill. And the thing about flanking that really helps is that it puts you in a lot of one-on-one -on -one engagements because when you flank, you're most likely gonna come across what I like to call stragglers. So your chances of winning a gunfight are at 50-50, all right? So what I'm doing on this side here is I'm just patrolling that part of the map in this middle lane right here as well. Now, I don't recommend going out too far because you could put yourself at a disadvantage. So here I'm deciding to push into their spawn. This is where they're pushing into their spawn and I die right there to a guy sitting in a corner. You know, you're rarely going to come across these type of people. And I'm just so confused because he's a level 352 Master Prestige. So that just utterly confused me. But... Nonetheless, you want to take note of that and be ready for that the next time around. So, of course, I'm going to be more hesitant when I come around. and I'm probably going to check corners at least twice. So there he is right there. Teammate takes him out. And I am going to be running the same strategy. The thing about running a strategy, easy kill right there, is that it's a lot more effective and it's a lot more foolproof. Meaning there's no randomness. It's just a strategy, you know what I'm saying? It's a step-by-step -step instructional thing that you just follow and you should be a lot more successful. So as you can see, like I said, I'm patrolling two areas on one side of the map here. I'm just taking a peek in the mid part of the map and also the elbow part of the map. Elbow is the, is the left side where I'm at right now and I'm pre-aiming around lines of sight where I know that there's gonna be enemies. So that's obviously their spawn. Look at my teammates, look at them on the mini map in comparison to where I'm at. They're going to be on the opposite side. I get really lucky with that assisted suicide right there. So my teammates are pushing way too far into their spawn. So I'm just trying to figure out, should I push on the opposite side? And that's exactly what I do. Now, the first thing I do is I pull out his, the Reaper specialist weapon, which is the scythe. And as you can see there, I did not hit fire and I do not push the spawns. Okay. That's very important. Do not push the spawns. As you can see, there's only a certain point where I go. But at this point, I felt that it was necessary to do that. But I didn't really necessarily push deep into their spawn. Now, right here, I get surprised by this guy. I turn around, hit him with the scythe. And then I deployed my radar shroud. Okay, that way when I'm firing my weapon or they call in a UAV, I'm shielded. And as you can see, I'm back in the same area where I was essentially running that strategy. I'm just patrolling this area of the map. I see a straggler right here. This is what I was talking about. How many did we see? One. You know, you're not going to see too many enemies when you're on a flank route. And that's what makes flanking so effective and how you get easy kills because of that one on one engagement. So right here, I'm just patiently waiting. You guys didn't see this in the final cut because um, I just didn't want it to be too boring. But in a real life situation for you sitting at home, I'm not I'm not saying hide behind a rock. I'm just saying take your time with it because when you're trying to get a nuclear, it's all about timing, man. You know, you ever heard of Call of Duty timing? 
And that's what I was doing right there. I was just being really patient with it. And I was recognizing the fact that I'm going on a streak right now. If I rush too hard, I'm going to die. And that's their spawn. Right there. That's a perfect example why you have to be very, very passive. So I got that easy double kill there. And now I'm looking at that mini map because I just called in a UAV. I'm feeling confident here. So that's why I went all the way out here to mid. You're rarely going to see me do that if I'm running a specialist. I mean, a, a strategy. And as you can see, I'm on a ruthless right now. And I think as I was playing the game in real time, I didn't realize I was on a ruthless. And I think if you're trying to go for a nuclear, that's the best thing to do is like, don't worry so much about uh, the, the count that you're on. Like, oh, I'm on a relentless right now. You know, then that's when people start to choke like myself. That was my problem. Personally, I started to play a little bit different, a little bit too hesitant. And therefore I died. So now I'm pushing their spawn again. I'm looking at that kill feed. I pull out my Reaper specialist right away. And that's the most important thing too. When you earn your specialist abilities, pull them out right away, especially when you're using your equipment charge, because like I said, they contribute to the nuclear right there. I get an easy kill right there. That guy just camping in the corner. I find one guy that just spawned in. And yes, I did completely push the spawn right here in this situation, but it was appropriate because I saw my teammates on this side anyway, and I saw an opportunity for an easy kill. So now I just forced the spawns to flip. So that's why I'm making my way back to this side of the map. And again, I'm not really doing anything different. I'm doing the same thing. That's what I'm talking about with a strategy. It's like I'm a spider, right? In my spider web. When I see enemies, I just kill them. You know, there's certain spots of the map that I just do not push because I know that there's too many variables that I might die from. And that's like the whole point of a strategy right there. All right. So right now, uh, let's see. Teammate take out this guy. So that means that the spawns are going to flip. I'm rotating around this way because I was looking for ammo. I was out of ammo. I was freaking out. I was like, dude, what do I do? I have no ammo. So I pick up this ICR. So right now we're at a stalemate. The game's getting stagnant and I know it's a bad idea for me to go back to where I was patrolling. So I'm very, very, uh, what's it, what you call it here? I'm being very, very passive. And I knew that I was in a really high streak. And the only reason why I'm chilling in here is because they called in a UAV. As you can see on your heads up display, they called in a UAV. I'm on a streak right now. I'm just trying to stay behind my teammates. So when the enemy calls in a UAV, I'm using my teammates as bait. So I'm on a relentless right now, as you can see. And I don't know if you guys caught that, but I did put my radar shroud down. So that way the enemy doesn't know where I'm at. The radar shroud is protecting my location. And that's why I really like uh, this specialist for this type of, uh, you know, if you're trying to achieve something like the nuclear. All right. So pre-aiming definitely helps when you're going inside, but you guys should know that by now any type of point of entry. And I knew that there was going to be an enemy here. That's why I was pre-aiming and waiting for him to pass by. You know, you can never be too sure. And the reason why I had a feeling was because I was looking at my teammates. There was no engagement happening in the middle of the map. So that must mean there's a higher chance that somebody is flanking to my direction. So that's why I knew to be ready for those gunfights. So this is the part where I get really, really, really cautious. I'm looking at that mini map. I'm looking at the kill feed. Somebody sitting here in the corner. I pop out right away and I do a little 360 to make sure nobody gets gets me from behind. I notice that my Reaper is out. So I pull out my Reaper specialist and I'm making my way towards the end of the spawn because why? Because the spawns have flipped. So I'm doing something risky here because I know I'm really close to the nuclear and I'm trying to beat my team from ending the game. You got to pay attention to the score and the time. You don't want to run out of time or your teammates stealing all the kills and you lose your chance of getting your nuclear. So now I'm on a brutal. I see two guys here pinging on the minimap. I've got a lot of confidence. This is my mistake right here. I actually made a mistake right there and it didn't seem like it. Well, it's because I healed myself while I was using this specialist Reaper. And the problem is that there was a lag, so I could have died right there in that situation. So right here, it was just simple. The UAV just showed me where the enemies were, and I got the nuclear, guys. So that about wraps it up for today's video. I hope that this video made some type of enlightenment and some kind of sense for you guys to learn how to incorporate the tips that I've given you today and apply it to your everyday uh, matches. All right. And you can run any strategy on any map. I've done several videos showing my flank routes and just my thought process. And a matter of fact, every single video I post, I always try to give you guys my thought process 
and like what I do in order to survive and do well. Uh, so yeah, as you can see right there, 35 and 2, 17.5 ratio with the nuclear guys. Drop a like if you find today's video helpful. I know my true supporters out there, and I really appreciate everybody who hits that like button. It means a lot to me. If not, it's cool. And subscribe if you're new around here. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you guys can never miss a new upload in case YouTube's screwing up. All right, you guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. If you're looking for a way to enhance your gaming experience, check out Focus by Advanced. It's a great supplement, tastes really good, no crash, and it'll keep you focused, give you faster reflexes and reaction time. You could also use it for when you're at work studying for that test or even to get you focused for working out at the gym. Head on over to advanced.gg, link is in the description, and use my code TURBO to save 10%. If you use my code, be sure to screenshot it and tweet it at me or tag me on Instagram. Hey guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to the people whose names are listed for officially joining the channel as a member, and if you are interested in joining there's a link in the description that will take you there and some information on exclusive perks you get for joining as a thank you from me to you remember this is not required by any means and i appreciate all the support whether you're a member or not all right i'll see you guys in the next video peace